Don't pick up that phone, ignore your boss, and stay listening to the Mutual Audio Network, where imagination meets relaxation. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Mr. Bell, all of us here at A Major Motion Picture Studio feel like your book the Devil's Pinata. Which is still available at Amazon.com, and the audio version on Audible.com makes a great gift. Yes. Which involves Buckshot, a hero who travels the world getting into adventures and action and romance, is perfect for our studio. We're green lighting this project, and we're gonna make this movie. Oh, wow, that's that's excellent. That's great. I I really can't wait. <laughs> There's more, isn't there? We have a few suggested changes. Very minor changes. We ran this past our focus groups and came up with the following ideas. Focus groups. Your hero, Buckshot, needs a sidekick. Well, he's actually kind of a loner who. We're thinking a monkey. A monkey? Kids love monkeys, Mr. Bell. This would bring in the youth market. The book really isn't aimed at the, the youth... youth market is hot right now. Family movies. A much larger return on our dollar. Well, the story isn't really conducive to... And we're making slight changes to the story. To the story? Instead of saving the world, your hero is going to save some kids. Really family-type stuff. Heartwarming, you know? But Buckshot isn't really a heartwarming type of... That's another thing. The character's name, Buckshot, sounds a little... Aggressive. Well, that's the point. It's a parody of action-adventure. So we're changing his name to Buddy Braveheart. Buddy... I don't know what to say. We knew you'd love it. So Buddy and his monkey, Giggles, are searching for these twins wait, who have wait, been... Wait, 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 with all these changes, it's 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 no longer anything like the Devil's Pinata. That's why we're changing the title. Ch- ch- changing the... We're calling it... Finding Duo. Fight. F- f- what? Not only does that describe what happens in the film, but when we release it on DVD, people may be looking for another Finding D type movie and purchase this one by mistake, thereby increasing our revenue. No, no, th- this, this is you no. Know, you, you can't do all this. I, I, I'm. The book is mine, and I, I demand. Creative control. Creative control. Oh, these pushy writers. Yes, I demand that I be kept in the loop during the entire process so that the movie represents the book. Well, that would be novel. Well, certainly we can at least keep in the happy little elves who... Elves? Holiday market. Holiday market, Mr. Bell. Very lucrative time of year. No, 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 no. No changes. I want script approval. All the way through. Any changes, anything you want to make, I want to see the script first so I can approve it. You drive a hard bargain, Mr. Bell. I think we're done here. Fine. Good. Thank you. Goodbye. Wonderful meeting with you, Mr. Bell. We're excited about this project. Script approval. I think that went well. Indeed. Have you read the contract he signed? Cover to cover. Any mention of control? Not a whit. And let's get Finding Duo into production. And so the process of making a motion picture began. First. There were the auditions. All right, people, listen up. Do you have your scripts? Wonderful. All right, here is the scene we're going to be auditioning with. You are meeting with a local religious leader. Okay, uh, who's first? All right, Harrison Fudd. Step right up. Action. Oh, you wascoey webby. <laughs> to the building of the sets. Uh, Charlie, this is a really nice set you're building here. Uh, yeah, we're almost finished. What exactly is it? It's Buckingham Palace. Buckingham? It says right here in the work order, Buckingham Palace. Uh, Charlie, the work order says Bud King's Ham Palace. It's supposed to be a small eatery, not oh. a giant 
Alice. Well, that's what I thought the... No, uh, no, no. You've uh, built this huge thing. We're going to go way over budget. We uh, have to tear it down. Oh, no, no. I don't think so. Uh, what if we uh, take down the uh, paintings of the queen and replace them with uh, menus for sandwiches? That might just work. Uh, give it a try there, Charlie. All right. Hey, guys. Rip off the queens. To the actual filming of the movie itself. All right, in this scene, it's very emotional. You're you're missing the woman who has just left you, the woman you have loved for years. She's walking out of your life. And you, you must swallow your pride and beg her to come back to you. Do you think you can do it? Yes, I think I can do it. Excellent. From the heart now, places and action! Please come back. Cut! No, 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 no. You are too emotional. You have to maintain your macho image instead of becoming a blubbery pile of mush. So not so wimpy. Exactly. Let's take it again. Places and action! Please come back. Cut! Excellent! There won't be a dry eye in the house. (laughs) And finally, post-production. I can assist the next person in line, please. And what can the post office do for you today, sir? I'd like to post this production. Very well, sir. We'd be happy to post this for you. Anything else you need to post? Uh, yeah, I'd like to post toasties, post haste... Post hole digger, post script, post apocalyptic, post card, post paid, and post irrier. Excellent. Do these posts contain liquids, no. perishables, no. fruits, no. vegetables, no. gasoline, no. nail polish, no. bombs, Possibly. poisons, no. aerosols, no. animals, no. multi-cell life forms, no. hazardous materials, no. ugly sweaters, souffles, no. radioactive materials, no. body parts, no. illegal drugs, no. foreign flags, no. bootleg CDs, no. spinning bow ties, no. silly hats, no. cheese with green fuzz, relatives, no. black holes, no. alternate universes. No. Thank you for coming to the post office to post production, sir. And finally, the movie was finished and was ready for audience testing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking part in this movie preview comment session. Does everybody have their microphones on? Hello, let me hear you. Uh, my- You too, sir. Oh, I didn't want to bother anybody. Yes, fine. As you watch the movie... Oh, you heard me. Yes, I heard you. Can I am somebody? Yes. Your comments will be recorded for research purposes only. Feel free to make any positive or negative comments about what you are viewing at any time. We didn't make the movie, so we don't care if you love it or hate it. Any questions? Oh, uh, can we get a... Uh... I told you when you first came in, we don't have a slushy machine here. Oh, yeah. Now, if everybody's ready, we'll start the movie. Arnie, can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Bell. Brad, can you hear me? All the voices are back. I had them rig up our microphones so that we could hear each other. Oh, thank heavens. I wanted to listen into your comments to see how well the movie goes. Now, I want you to know that I made them. I required them to call this the Devil's Pinata. Good for you, Mr. Bell. Kind of a silly title. And also, this is fun. In the opening segment, when they give all the production people who worked on it, yes. the Bat Free will be included. Wow. It'll be on the big screen. The screen isn't really all that big, Mr. Bell. It's a 21-inch TV. I don't mean now. I mean when it gets into the theaters. It'll be on the big screen. Have you been in a theater lately, Mr. Bell? Can we get popcorn? Quiet, quiet, quiet. The movie is starting. Here come the opening titles. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, the screen is smaller than I thought it would be, and I didn't read my glasses. Can somebody read it to me, please? Okay, if I film it right in peace, uh, he said, hey, Brad, can you read it for me? <laughs> Kazee. Hey. Rated PG-13. I got that part. I got that part. Here come the titles. A major motion picture studio in association with Epic Productions, along with Harrowing Films, LLC, 
in cooperation with Intestinal Fortitude Creations How many of these are and there? assistance by Spitball Productions. We'll get there eventually. Including Pray for a Miracle Studios with the aggravation of too much money for our own good consortium. That explains with a lot. With the cooperation of Mob Money Incorporated. Uh oh. And the contractual inclusion of the Belfry presents. The Belfry? I spelled it out for. Finding the... Duo. What? They were supposed to put. Wait, wait, there's some small print. Uh. Part one, the devil's pinata. Why those dirt? <sighs> all right, all right, let's watch. The The opening should have this big, exciting fight scene. At the North Pole? North. Are the reindeer going to have a fist fight? That would be more of a hoof fight. It's not supposed to be at the North. Oh, look at those cute kids. Oh, they must be twins. I'm going to murder them. What, you don't like twins? No, not them. The guys at the... Oh, s- they're on a tour of Santa's workshop. Look at all the elves. I can't watch. They're leaving the workshop now. Shaking hands with all the elves. Walking out to a helicopter. A helicopter at the North Pole. Oh, a sleigh you accept, but a helicopter is something odd. And there goes the helicopter, off into the fog. Ooh, that fog is as thick as sea poop. Pea soup. That would be painful. Oh, look, spinning newspapers with headlines. What, really? Oh, wait, you're right. Look, spinning handheld devices with headlines. Screaming headlines. Literally, they need to turn down the volume on those. Do the headlines mention that the twins are missing now? Oh, you got that one right, Mr. Bell. You must be psychic. You mean psychic. I stand by my statement. And now the world leaders are gathering to figure out who would be the best person to locate and save these twins. Can I leave now? I think they locked the doors. They took a vote, and the man they selected is... Not Buddy Braveheart. Don't let it be Buddy Braveheart. Buck shot! What? You mean they kept my hero's name? At least I get that. Oh, look, now we're in a mysterious building somewhere in the Far East. How can you tell it's the Far East? If it were the Far West, they'd be wearing cowboy hats ah, and chaps right. and stuff. Is Buckshot there? I think that's him taking kung fu training. From a wise old man. Is it Brad Pitt? Oh, come on, Mr. Pitt's not that old. No, I mean the hero. Is it Brad Pitt? They said we could get Brad Pitt, maybe. No. no. Not Brad Pitt. No, it isn't, Mr. Bell, but I think I recognize him from my monthly subscription to B-Movie Actor Digest. So they got a B-Movie Actor for this part? Actually, I saw it in an ad for subscriptions for C-Movie Actors. Just tell me who the actor is. Pad Britt. Pad Britt? Yes, Pad Britt. I see. Yeah, it's very much C. Just got promoted from a D-level actor. So what has he been in before? Mostly drunk tanks. Oh, look, the wild. This old man is telling him that he has a quest. A what? A quest. Like the toothpaste? No, quest. Johnny Quest. No. The quest to you each morning. No. Question authority. A mission. Oh. oh. To go find the lovable twins, right? Right. But, oh, look at that. He's giving him a new name. Oh, no. A name that goes back centuries in his cult. You mean... Buddy Braveheart. Brave yes, oh. that's what it is. Oh, and look, now this scene changes to a dense jungle. Well, that makes sense. How many smart jungles do you know? Wait a minute. If the kids disappeared at the North Pole, why is he in a jungle? Maybe the lighting was better. You know, if someone would stop talking over the dialogue, we might understand more of this. I, I doubt, doubt it. it. Point taken. Ooh, look, there's something watching him from behind your bushes. Could it be a hostile native? Maybe a hungry tiger? A persistent paparazzi? It's leaping out at him. Look out, bunny Braveheart! It's Buckshot! They're tussling! They're wrestling! They're rolling around in the leaves! And we got a good look at our attacker and... Oh! oh. It's a monkey. What a cute monkey! Wouldn't it be great if the monkey became a sidekick? Huh? No. Huh? No. Huh? Please. The monkey is pointing to... Something. A mountain in the distance, dark and evil looking. Looks like the IRS building in Washington. Okay, okay, guys, listen. Um, I'm just gonna sit here and cry quietly for a while. So, um, when we get near the end of the movie, just let me know, okay? Okay. All righty. This is a great book you wrote, Mister Bell. Oh yeah, the monkey was a great touch. Kill me now. Buddy Braveheart and Giggles the Monkey saved the twins. And the twins saved Christmas. I wish someone would save me. I really like that song the elves sang at the end. Oh, yeah. Don't sing. It's the the end end of the story. story. They're singing it. Our hero in all his glory. We We love love that guy for he was successful successful in finding... 
do all. Yeah, that was just. When this movie comes out in DVD, I'm going to buy it. You and me both, Arnie, are going to go to the store and look for Finding Dory. I just want to go home and forget this whole event ever happened. One month later. This is your Hollywood reporter with all the news from Tinseltown. Oh, can we talk? The major motion picture studio flick Finding Duo is finally being released. Well, not really released. It's more like it escaped. On video, specifically on VHS tape. Nobody has enough faith in this stinker to upgrade to DVD. Redbox returned it. Netflix nixed it. Amazon zapped it. Showtime had no time for it. HBO said it had too much B.O. So if you want to see Finding Duo, dust off the old VHS. And when you're finished, please don't rewind. Oh, oh, and here's a flash. You've been listening to Bells in the Bad Free, episode 157, copyright 2016 by John Bell Creative, LLC. Ow, ow, ow. Six months later. Guys, look what came in the mail. Look at this envelope. What's that envelope? I don't know. It's from... A major motion picture studio. Uh huh. I bet it's my first royalty check from the movie. Open, Open it up. up. Open, Open it, it up. up. I'm opening. I'm opening. Oh my. How much is it for, Mr. Bell? Sixty-seven million. No. Thousand. No. Hundred. No. Sixty-seven dollars and thirteen cents. Well, looking at this way, Mr. Bell, at least you got something out of this experience. Not exactly, Brad. It's a bill. They billed me for the labels for the VHS tapes. Oh. Yeesh, what could be worse than that? The bill arrived with postage due. There are a number of everyday precautions that we can all take that may help to slow down the spread of the coronavirus. The first is to make sure to clean your hands often. Now, washing your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds is the best, but if you don't have that, try to use a hand sanitizer that has at least 60% alcohol. And to the extent possible, avoid touching high-touch surfaces in public places. These are things like elevator buttons, door handles, handrails, or of course handshaking with people. Wash your hands after touching surfaces in public places. Avoid touching your face, your nose, and your eyes. And clean and disinfect your home to remove germs. Practicing routine cleaning of frequently touched surfaces like tables, doorknobs, light switch handles will make a difference. Avoid crowds, especially in poorly ventilated spaces. All these small things that we can do may help to slow down the spread of the coronavirus. For more information, go to cdc.gov and be well, everyone.